Hey guys, welcome back to the next video in my chicken dinner series with uh, some strategies and things that I do in the game and yada yada yada. So if you've seen the first two videos, then uh, you kind of know what this is. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, another game um, that I played. And we're just going to go ahead and start off here. We're going to do some two times because uh, we'll come back to uh, what I'm doing now. He, the whole reason that I actually dropped where I'm dropping um, on uh, Sunday, I was playing and I dropped three times um, right into this area. And two out of the three times, I didn't find jack squat. Now, what you can actually see is this is a, uh, an area that's got six buildings in it. So. I'm sitting there and I'm dropping into the <laughs> right into this area and like I said two out of the three times you'd think there's a lot of buildings there's a lot of stuff to find and um, I was finding Uzis and shotguns and that was pretty much it so I just decided today um, like why don't I just jump in here let's just see and once again I didn't really find any good things um, out of this area the only thing that ends up being good is this is actually where the circle ends up being and I didn't show where the plane uh, came in but we it basically came in from like over here and uh, I was the only person right here there's one of the guy that showed up a second ago uh, within a kilometer um, so I know that when I was descending I could look and see that there were no other parachutes anywhere near me so I kind of had free reign I, I knew that so I was like all right well just take advantage and just start raiding and uh, get as much as you can so we'll go ahead and we will fast forward a little bit and let's see where I ended up all right so I ended up leaving here and I started to come over to this area thinking that I could catch some people who would be coming in from this and I realized, you know what, that's a bad idea because I know there's nobody in this area, so I might as well just go loot some more. So I go down here and I loot, try to grab some more stuff, and then from here uh, I end up coming down. Alright, so there's a guy who ends up showing up. He's coming around the bend right here. Now, I don't know if this guy really saw me or not. We're looking at it from his point of view, first person, because I only play in first person perspective um, when I'm playing the game. So you can see right there that uh, he didn't see me. And uh, I saw him, I heard him. So I decide that what I want to do is I want to try to come up and engage with this guy. And in me kind of making this decision, he hits these two buildings he does not know that I'm here and I decide you know what he's running up into the quarry I don't know exactly where he's going up here um, he's got all the advantage in the world because he'll be able to hear me and then he'll be elevated against me so I disengage rather than try to hunt this guy down I just decide alright I will pick a better spot I'll pick a better time uh, in order to get into a fight with this guy so what I end up doing is I'm trying to make it to the next circle and I come down here and I'm gonna end up right around this area and I take a little bit of damage but it's never a real problem this early in the game so I get really lucky um, with the next circle and I got pretty lucky this game with uh, some of the circles as you'll end up seeing uh, just pretty lucky so weightlifters coming out of Primorsk uh, this guy he just ends up, uh, no, okay, so he's looking right over here, and he ends up doing the same thing I'm doing. I'm actually kind of looking at the Jeep, and I'm thinking that there's somebody who was in this Jeep, and then they went into this building. So, Waylifter's doing the exact same thing. We're both kind of scoping out this, uh, this house, because we're both thinking the same thing. So, I don't go up to the house, but I give it a wide berth. But if you'll notice, like, my head is, like, turned because I'm constantly looking at this house just to see if I see movement. And when I finally kind of look back, I see somebody. And it's the guy right in front of me. And 
you know, we kind of saw each other at the same time. I just was a, at a little bit better angle because I was already facing him. And so I basically get him down. Now, if it had been reversed and I was kind of going at an angle and he was coming at me, he probably gets me down at that point. So I just get a little bit lucky uh, getting into that fight with that guy and just being in the sort of the right spot. Alrighty guys, so you know how in the last video I talked about I wear all black, but let's take a look. <laughs> this guy's got a great outfit. See, this is kind of the point is, if you want to wear whatever it is you want to wear, wear it, because it's hilarious. So Manny Pacquiao, uh, I don't think it's the real Manny Pacquiao, but he is getting into a fight here with this guy across the way. But you'll notice something that Manny does here in a second. And this kind of goes back to my whole strategy and what I do when I play the game is he's going to end up, he's going to start taking everything off. Boom, there he goes. Loses the outfit. And the reason he loses the outfit is because he knows, okay, it's a liability. We're down to 19 people. I don't really want to wear this outfit anymore because it makes me stand out. So the guy ditches it. So he's doing sort of the same thing I do. It's just he wants to wear the outfit at the beginning I don't, that way I just don't kind of have to mess with it in case I forget. So, uh, Manny ends up getting into a fight. Now, this guy actually makes a really bad decision. And we're going to back it up just so you can see the really poor decision that this guy makes. Um... This guy, his name's The Reg, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And this guy's not making a mistake that I haven't made a million times myself. Um, so, it's you know, I'm not dogging the guy, but at the end of the day, it, it's a mistake that basically costs him. Like, it's, it's, it's over and done. All right, so the first mistake that he's kind of making here, he's crossing this street. All right, now you can look and see... There's no cover for this guy. There is no real cover for this guy. I don't know why he came over here. When he was over here in these woods, he's got all this cover. He could hear gunshots from earlier. So he's coming over. And then look what he does. He sees Manny over here. The guy's just sitting there. And what does he do? He takes shots. What's the problem with that? You know, the, the problem with that is, first of all, he's in a really bad area. Look at the blue line, and the blue line is coming up. And guess what the Reg 999 is about to do? He is about to have to run out from behind this shack to get to the next circle. This guy put himself in the worst possible spot, and he did not need to take any shots at Manny. He didn't need to do it. He could have waited. He could have let Manny kind of move and uh, commit himself. And then either, you know, started taking shots right then and there. Now, he does get behind this tree, so he does advance a little bit. But it's just not going to be enough. Uh, because Manny knows where the guy is. So, long and short of it. Uh, and actually, Manny does a mistake here in a way. He jumps up here and ends up taking a bunch of damage. But it's no big deal. He gets down. Because the guy's looking for him. Almost gets him. I mean, almost, but then boom, boom, boom. The um... Oh, and actually, just so you know, it was Versio. He's the one who actually takes out... Uh, he took out Reg. So he comes in and kind of swoops in and says, okay, you know, I, I can hear gunshots. I'm going to go get these guys. I'm going to go be a part of the fun. So that is what's going on over here. Now, this entire time, I am over on my side and kind of show you what it is that I was doing. And uh, I'm going to back up here just a little bit. All right, so you can see where I'm at. Now, I knew that there were a bunch of gunshots coming from over in this area, so I knew that. So what I wanted to do was just to try to get to the very next circle. I didn't really know where anybody was on my left. I just knew that I could hear gunshots on my right. 
um, that was going on between Manny Pacquiao, the Reg, um, all these guys over here. So I'm listening to that, and I know that I don't want to go in that direction. What I want to do is to end up heading north because you can see where the next circle is going to be. So at this point, I've got this option. I can either go straight through the city or the little village here, which is a terrible decision. I can basically cut this way and north. That's a terrible decision because I already know that there's a bunch of guys over here. And it's not that I don't want to get into a fight. It's that I don't know how many guys. I don't know what direction they're facing. I don't have enough information to go be a part of what's taking place over here. So the only real option that I've got um, is to basically hug the blue line and get up the hill. Because I know that this is the plains. You can see the little graphic design here. So you know that those are the plains. And I know this map, most people already know the map. So when I'm saying that I know that it gets elevated here, pretty much everybody knows if uh, this area. So I know that if I can get past this building, get behind it, that I've got a hill to run up. So that's the decision that I make because whenever I have the opportunity, I always try to go up, not down. And the whole reason that you do not want to go through this village right here is, again, there could be people in there. They could be hiding. You don't have a line of sight. Um, they're going to hear you before they see you, so they'll know you're coming. And you just don't have enough information. And all the information I really need at the moment is that I don't hear any gunshots to sort of my left coming up this area. I just don't hear it the way that I'm hearing it over here. So I figure, you know what, this is the direction I'll go because I want to get to the top of the hill. So that's what I do. So I just start getting up to the top of this hill. We will fast forward a little bit. Actually, I'm going to slow it back down because there's some interesting stuff that kind of happens over here. Now, Knife622, this is the guy that we saw earlier that was over uh, by the, uh, by the uh, uh, quarry. He's got the Groza. Now, when I'm hearing this guy with the Groza, what I'm saying to myself is, crap, I don't really want to go get into a fight with the, the guy with the Groza, but I'm probably going to have to, so it would be better for me to kind of come up behind him. Um, rather than anything else. So, this guy is just taking out fools. So, Alright, so I get to the top of the hill. I'm, I'm in a, a, a good position, what I think. Because I'm kind of crawling along. And I decide, like, okay, so I start hearing gunshots ring out over here uh, with someone with a silencer. So, all of a sudden, I hear footsteps. So, I turn back... I see this guy come up. I've got all the advantage because I can hear the footsteps. I know what direction he has to be coming. He's got to be coming up right behind me because it's the only real clear way to get up there. So now I'm moving up and Manny Pacquiao all the way down there is taking shots at me because he sees me and he's like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to take shots. And unfortunately for Artolio... Our, our um, I'm coming down off of this uh, little ridge here. And just kind of show it again. Show it from his perspective. <clears throat> I've got a better gun. Um, I'm in, and he's also crouched. So when I jump in midair, um, I know that he's probably not going to kill me. And I get down, I move back, and I'm basically just kind of getting some headshots on him at that point. Uh, I'm elevated against him. He's also crouched, so when I'm facing him, his head is a bigger target. And so he's just kind of got a disadvantage right there. So I've had uh, three kills at this point. Uh, every single time I've taken fire, every single time I've kind of come out. Uh, not kind of, but I've actually come out ahead. So we get down to the final three of us. And where I am at, I am looking for the guy that was taking shots at me earlier because I know that the guy who was shooting at me earlier was somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. That's all I knew. 
So I'm looking for movement because as you can tell, I'm on a little tiny bit of an incline right here. Uh, it's just the, the smallest incline, but it's still enough that I should be able to see somebody move if they're actually close enough to me. Um, and unfortunately, nope. Good old Manny Pacquiao. He's he's on the he's on the other side. All right, guys. So at this point, I am trying to get into this uh, final circle. So I'm kind of moving up, and what ends up happening is Manny Pacquiao over here. I don't see him, but and he doesn't see me, but he hears me. So you can kind of see that he is now looking in my direction. He is trying to find out where I just went because he knows that I'm somewhere over here. So he ends up kind of looking in this direction. He's already in the circle. Jay Lum ends up moving over, but here's sort of a key thing. So I'm gonna put it back into my perspective. One thing I do is I just start unloading shots. I'm just kind of hoping I'm just I'm just kind of hoping that I'm going to end up killing somebody at that point, but at the same time there's 3 of us. So, I'm not giving away my position to just one opponent. What I'm doing is I'm making the other two people think that someone has seen one of them and is shooting. So, at this point when I don't hit anybody, I'm kind of giving disinformation to the other two. If it was heads up, I never am going to just randomly shoot right there into the field. I'm never going to do that because I'm giving away my position. So what I'm trying to do is cause these two to think that, oh my gosh, the two other people see each other and force them to stand up. That was just the idea. That was what the intent was. And shortly hereafter... These two see each other, and Manny hears J. Lum crawling through. And so here's what I decided to do. I knew that I had already given away my position by firing my gun. These two are now dead. When you are this close, and, I mean, you can see how small the circle is, you want to immediately stand up. Immediately. Because I just gave away my position just a few seconds ago. Whoever the other person is at this point, they know where I'm at. They're going to stand up and they're going to start looking for me. And because they're elevated in a small little field, they're going to see me. So when you're in this situation, get up immediately. And so I stand up immediately. There's the guy. And I get lucky in the fact that Manny does not get me down. Um, I end up standing up the whole way. He doesn't. Uh, he's crouched. And so when he's crouched, uh, I'm getting some headshots there. And I just get lucky, and I take out good old Manny Pacquiao. He did have one of the greatest outfits in the game, so I enjoyed that. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I just got a little bit more lucky than him. He's a good player for sure. Um, so, you know, this this game's a little bit different. You know, I really wasn't all that um, um, hidden. Um, you know, I had four firefights, and every single fight. Um, you know, I took damage and I just got kind of lucky with some of these fights and coming out ahead. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this game and for this chicken dinner. And uh, we will catch you next time. See ya.